Hello everybody again. Um, today what I'd like to talk about um, is, I've got strategy and trading, but it's, it's mainly the trading plan. Um, strategy or strategies are relatively easy to get hold of. Um, you know, you, you pin by, you, 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 your breakouts, your false breakouts, stuff like this, head and shoulders, all the rest of them. Um, something that is a little more difficult to do, and that is critical, absolutely critical to, to, to any success in trading is, is, is a trading plan. You can make these as, as simple or as complicated as you want, but the bottom line is you need one, full stop. A strategy, from my perspective, is now the use of an ornament. It's a waste of space. You've got yourself a strategy, let's say for argument's sake, a double top. You can't do anything with it. A double top appears on the screen, what are you going to do with it? You don't know what to do with it. Therefore, you then have to build a trading plan around it. Okay? But first things market, you're going to do forex, you're going to do stocks. Okay, me personally, there's not a huge amount of difference between them, especially if you're going to be um, technical trading, technical trader. There are subtle differences, um, but for the sake of this video, um, I personally don't think there's a, there's a huge amount of difference um, when it comes to most strategies. So pick your market for one, then you've got to pick your time frame. What sort of trader are you? Do you like the small time frames? Do you like the minutes, the five minutes? Do you like the scalping? Do you want to be more of a swing trader? Do you want to start going up to the four hours, the dailies? Me personally, I prefer the, 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 the higher time frames. Um, but again, that's a decision you're going to have to make, and that's a decision that you're going to have to figure out for yourself. Nobody can tell you which way to go with that. That will just be trial and error. Now, for me, when you are building a trading plan, the most critical thing you can do in your trading plan is work out where your stop loss is going. For me, that is the datum point for the whole trade, all right? You're not looking at your entry. You're not looking at how much money you're gonna make, how many points, how many pips you're gonna make. That, all that is irrelevant. At this stage of the game, all you are is a risk manager. You're not a trader, you're a risk manager, all right? You've got to find a reasonable position for your stop loss. Now, whether that be previous highs and lows, whether that's an actual pip number, point number, pound number, dollar, whatever, but you've got to find your stop loss first. The whole trade is then built from that. You can then work out your entry, you can work out your RVR, you can't do anything until you've got that. So you start with that, that's, got, that's critical within the trading plan. Doesn't matter whether how basic the trading plan is, you've got to get one, all right? You can start to get a little more, um, you, you can complicate it slightly, or you can add to it with stuff like number of positions, all right? Do you want to put one position on, and take one position off when it hits target. Do you want to put two or three positions on? Do you want to scale in, scale out? Position size again, again, that's, it, it, it's going to be subjective. Do you want small positions, but a number of them? Or do you want one big position that you're just going to get out of at the end? Do you want one position and then scale out of that one position? There's a huge amount to think about with a training plan. And it can take days, weeks, months to actually build a trading plan. But if you don't have just a basic one, I mean, this is the, the, the really basic, but having a strategy without a trading plan is a waste of space. And most newbies will start with a strategy and think that's it, they're off and running. Well, they're not. You need the trading plan, okay? Now, I know traders, successful traders that uh, some of them have some of the most complicated and extended trading plans you wouldn't believe and I know another trader that has basically two rules and that's it that's his trading plan but he is extremely successful with it but they all have one thing in common that they have 
a trading plan. And it's something as new a traders, you should, be, you should be writing it down, you should have it next to you, and whatever you do, you should adhere to it, whatever you've written down. You don't deviate, you stick to it. Now that isn't to say, as time goes by, you can add to it, you can take things away, you can tweak it. Again, I know a trader, he's had a trading plan for 20 years, but he still tweaks it. But the emphasis is on tweak, all right? He's not throwing the whole lot out and starting from scratch. He's just adding a little bit here. He's adding a little bit there. He's taking a, a little bit off, all right? But he's got a trading plan. That is critical. Again, you won't make it as a trader without a trading plan. Thank you very much. See you next time.